Hey guys, it's Red Silvers, and welcome back to Let's Play The Guardian Legend. Today we're going to do the first half of Area 7. But first we have to find it, because we're way back here towards the start of the game. I love the faster move speed. So Area 7 is actually just down here. We're going to go in this area. And here's our buddy, the lander. We're not going to be saving at him today, though. And there's a pineapple. Remember when that pineapple used to kill us really quick? Well, with our firepower, now he goes down pretty quick. Which is good, because here he's brought his family. So they, they see that he's gotten easy enough to deal with, that they're now throwing multiples of him. And hang on, let's go kill those guys. Give me some goodies, some help. Okay, and we're going to switch to our saber weapon. For this screen... Four mini-boss time. And it's the blue version of this slime maker that we've seen before. Same strategy, use your saber. The main trick is that the little sp slimes it summons can take a few hits, but if you use the saber right as they spawn, you can take them out pretty quick. So, he's not too bad, he's just a little longer than the average fight with this guy. But, mainly just boosted health. And for defeating him, we will upgrade our grenade, so it is now fully powered at level 3. And if you were going to fight the uh, Red Optimon at this point, this grenade can actually destroy his little tendrils as well. So that's pretty nice. Now, I've actually learned something about this game, and that is that your bullets do a little bit more damage if you don't have a sub-weapon equipped. So that's pretty interesting. And this arrow is going to lead us to the corridor that we're going to do today which is Corridor 17, but we're not going to head in there yet. So I'm going to kind of show you a little oddity about the way this is laid out. As you can see, we have the red wall, and usually when you have a red wall like this, it divides the area. And this is no exception. So why am I pointing this out, you might be wondering. It's because when you come over here... There's an item box, but you can't get it because you're on the wrong side of the screen. So, we'll have to switch around. Now, there is a path over there leading to the right. We're going to ignore that for the moment. That's going to lead to the other half of Area 7. I'll show you on the map here. It's kind of divided up fairly evenly. The corridor is right there, too. But in this room is a save room. Hello, Lander. And ow, dude. Oh, goody! Free enemy erasers. Now we're on this side of the wall. And we can get this item block. Which actually is more enemy erasers. So we got a pretty good stash of those now. We're at 143. Very good weapon to have there. We'll duck back through the save room. And I could have done that right away without going around that other side, but... It's mainly just to, for map exploration. Because right here we have the corridor. Take out those bats. And here's corridor 17. And I will show you what's north of here. I don't remember if I showed it off or not before. And for this area, we're going to be using our fireball. Now, the first thing you're going to see is these green enemies. Now, you can't actually shoot them, and they actually block your bullets. So what you need to do is fly into them. They don't hurt you when you collide with them. It's the only way to get rid of them. And they kind of trick you like that. Because their main objective is to be a shield for the other enemies. So if you get too many of them in your way, then you can't shoot anything else, and it's a 
big pain. None of your sub weapons will kill them. Your enemy erasers might. But it kind of throws you for a loop because you don't expect that colliding into an enemy is going to be the way to get rid of them. And this area is definitely what you're going to call eyeball central. Yeah, they give you just enough of these guys so that when these new enemies come in, they're in the way and you get thrown off. Some. But luckily the rest of the stage is, is fairly tame to compensate. I think this is the worst part where you get this kind of bullet hell going on. And it's just like that, it's over with. Because it's boss time. With the giant eyeball. And we'll, let's get rid of those green guys. Okay, that's a little bit better. Now this is a lot like the first boss of the game. That defense system that we fought. It's like a tame version of it that takes a lot more hits. And enemies will keep spawning. Which means you have all sorts of opportunities to get pickups. Luckily the fireball weapon here is going to pretty much wreck this boss. I'm kind of a weird boss. I think this is called the eyeball growth. But as you can see it's, it's dropping so many items it's just getting covered. And yes some of these green things do come in just to get in your way. See, they even destroy your sub-weapon. So, luckily this is down. So overall, it's a very easy corridor. They just kind of throw that new enemy in there just to, to mess with you. But what will our reward be for defeating that corridor? It's going to be a very useful one because we get to upgrade our saber. So now it uses 30 chips, but look at the size of it. So, pretty good thing there. And then if we go north... We're actually in this room before. This leads back towards Area 6. So this will be a good spot to save. We can finish off Area 7 next time. And there's another terrible password. I found out something about the password system in this game. Every state of the game that you have, for example, right now if I were to come and talk to the slander, there's 256 possible passwords that I can have for the items that I have. And that's how they encrypted this game. So, the number of passwords available is just mind-boggling. And they could have easily made it a little simpler, but what can you do? So until next time, this has been Red Silvers. Have yourself a good night.